Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie, and today I have 20 of my best coastal Christmas DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started with the first one. I wanted to make a driftwood Christmas tree. So I thought it would be really easy to do with the driftwood filler from Target. This comes in a box like this. You get it for $10, but it does go on sale. I try to stock up on it when it does go on sale or you could use any driftwood from the beach or wherever you can find it. Now to make the driftwood tree, I'm using a Dollar Tree just foam cone like that, and we're just gonna simply hot glue the driftwood to it. I'm making sure that I kind of go over the edge here on the bottom with the driftwood, and I am just hot gluing it, trying to keep it like, you know, a little bit level there on the bottom and kind of going side by side to try to cover up as much of the foam as I can. But you know, if some of the white does show through, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. The reason I love crafting with this driftwood from Target is because it's nice and flat, um, really easy to glue down and to layer. So once I get my first row, I just simply start staggering. So the next row, I'm just making sure that I overlap it, you know, by probably like a half an inch or so. And then I just simply work my way around. Now the hot glue does melt your foam a little bit. So it's fine though, if you work quickly, it's gonna hold up and um, I absolutely love how this driftwood tree turned out. It looks very high end, like something that you would have bought at the store. And I have bought driftwood trees before and they're usually pretty pricey. I was really impressed by how easy this was to make. I have used the driftwood from Amazon as well, but I find that it's a little thicker and rounder and um, I think it's kind of more expensive because you don't get very much. And of course you could get your driftwood from the beach. Um, I do have quite a stash of it, but again, I kind of like the convenience of the flat pieces and I think it looks really cool too. Now the color on this driftwood is fairly light, but you could always stain it with some antique wax by Waverly or something like that if you wanna give yours a little bit more color. Now when I get to the tip, you know, those cones aren't very pointy. I just keep going. Um, and all the way to the top until I cover up everything. So it comes to a complete point. That way you won't see any of the foam comb. I even put a tiny piece on the top just to kind of block that off so you can't see inside. Now for the perfect tree topper, I'm gonna use a starfish. This is a starfish that I got on Amazon. These are available in my shop where you can use the starfish available from Dollar Tree in the Shore Living Line. They're about the same size. But this is how it turned out, my little driftwood Christmas tree. I think it's so beautiful. And it was really easy to put together. Just a little bit of hot glue, some driftwood and some foam. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a total of three Christmas trees today um, that are all gonna be displayed together. And I think they all complement each other really nicely. But this is the driftwood version. So for the next one, I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree tinsel Christmas tree. I like these because they're very versatile. All you gotta do is just take the tinsel off and you have this perfect tree cage that you can DIY. For mine, I'm gonna use this Sparkle Chanel yarn. It's the super fluffy big yarn. I got this on clearance at Walmart actually. And I'm just gonna start by tying that there on the bottom. And then I'm gonna kinda hot glue this to the cage along the bottom, just to make sure that all of that is covered up. But this DIY was so quick and easy. It's probably the first time I ever crafted with this really fluffy, large yarn. 
I don't know if I've ever seen this um, size yarn available at the Dollar Tree, but you know what? You could use just about anything and you could even simply use yarn. You're just gonna have to wrap it way more. But I thought that this sparkle yarn would look really festive for Christmas and I love the blue color. So I'm just gonna continue wrapping that around. My package was really big so I can do the entire Christmas tree in one piece just by wrapping around that cage. And these tree forms, I stock up on them every year. Um, I've already got some for this year because they are so fun to craft with. Now, once I get to the tip, I just hot glue it to the tip to finish it off. And then I'm gonna wanna decorate my Christmas tree a little bit to give it a little bit more festive fun. But this is what it looks like so far with just the yarn and tinsel. For mine, I wanted to do a coastal feel. So I'm gonna use these little tiny starfish. And I get these available on Amazon too. I have these linked in my shop. Sometimes when you buy them, you get a package like this where they're all tiny. And sometimes when you get them, um, you'll get a package where there's like half the size, half a little bit larger. So they're a little bit unpredictable, but I've ordered them several times in this you know natural ivory color and also in blue and i love them they're real little starfish and they're so cute for decorating things like this christmas tree they're so lightweight all i have to do is attach them with one dot of hot glue and i'm just kind of doing a random pattern with random sizes all over and I kind of want to just decorate, you know, everywhere where you'll be able to see it. And I think these make the perfect little coastal Christmas ornaments for a coastal Christmas tree. Since I'm adding said like all the starfish on the front of it and the sides, I'm not going to do a tree topper on this one. I'm just going to kind of let the starfish do the decorating. So this is how it turned out. And again, I only did like the front and the sides where you could see it just to save some starfish. But this is how it looks displayed in my home. I don't have a picture of it all by itself. I have it kind of with the other ones that we're going to DIY today. But here is a little preview of how that turned out. I think it's super cute and I love that fuzzy yarn. Now for the next DIY, recognize this, we're gonna use that tree form again, another one of the tinsel Christmas trees to do the third Christmas tree for the coastal Christmas tree. So, the only thing is I don't want all my trees to be the same size. So I'm just going to snip off the bottom section of the cage so that this tree will be a little bit smaller. So there'll be like different lengths. All three of the trees will be different sizes. I think that will look good displaying them all together. Now for this one, we're just using the Dollar Tree Brown Rope. And again, I'm just gonna start at the base by hot gluing the rope to the base. And I have bought like the rope Christmas trees like this before. And they are so easy to DIY. There's really no need to purchase them. I'm going for a very simple look with mine. I just wanted a rope Christmas tree. So that's basically all we're gonna do is just cover this entire wreath form. It gets easier once you get past the bottom because you can kind of just use the little tabs on there um, to um, grip it as you wrap it around but I do want it to be, you know, nice and tight. I don't want you to be able to see any of the cage through it. So I just hot glue it to the rope underneath of it and just simply wrap that around. Now, you know, the Dollar Tree rope is not like the longest rope. So I'm not gonna be able to do this um, entire Christmas tree. Even with a smaller size with one package, I'm gonna have to open up another package, but it's really pretty easy to start and stop with the Dollar Tree rope. Um, just kind of put your ends together. A little hot glue in there is gonna come help hide that. And then you can always make that like little seam there, you know, be on the back of your Christmas tree. I've purchased larger versions of these rope Christmas trees, you know, from TJ Maxx or wherever. And a lot of times I decorate the top of these with a starfish. But since I used a starfish tree topper on the driftwood DIY that we did, I'm not going to do any kind of tree topper at all with this one. I'm just going to leave it plain rope um, Christmas tree. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I just hot glued the tip and then I like to burn off all the fuzzies with a lighter just to clean this up a little bit, but couldn't be any easier. Just a rope Christmas tree. It goes perfect 
for the coastal Christmas theme. And here it is displayed with the other two Christmas tree DIYs that we just made. And I think they look really good together. All these different mixtures of colors and textures and starfish and stuff like that. I think they look really sweet. And this is how they look displayed all together. Hope you're enjoying these DIYs. Our next one, we're gonna try some of the Dollar Tree glass etching cream. I picked up this great display vessel at the Target Dollar Spot. It's really nice. Um, it was $5, but you could use whatever you've got. Sometimes for a size this big, I can't find anything at Dollar Tree. Maybe, I don't know, the Dollar Tree Plus, I'm not too familiar with them yet, whether they carry this large of size, but you could always find a thrifted piece as well. The benefit of this is it's already got the pedestal and everything. It's just a matter of removing all these pesky stickers. Why do they make them so hard to get off? The little Gugan scraping and Windex, we're gonna have like a very clean surface. I also went over it with rubbing alcohol to make sure everything was off because I wanna make a stencil. Now this stencil I made with my Cricut and I'm just using stencil vinyl. I get this vinyl and this paper transfer paper on Amazon and they are linked in my shop below. And I just did Joy with a sand dollar for the middle. I don't know if I have that Cricut file available to share. I just designed it in design space and I did Joy and then I just took the O out and took a Cricut Design Space sand dollar and designed that for the middle. It was a little tricky getting it on there because the middle parts of my sand dollar kind of attached before I got it on there too smoothly, but I was able to save this. I want that on there as tight as possible because we're gonna be using that Dollar Tree glass etching cream. I'm gonna kind of use a couple sticks here to prevent it from rolling around and then tape off the edges of my stencil with painter's tape. Now this is the glass etching cream that I found at Dollar Tree. I was really impressed to find this for $1.25. I don't know how common it is to find it though, cause I don't see it often. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, but you can get glass etching cream pretty much at any craft store. I know I've seen it at Target before too, but not for $1.25, but I wanted to try the Dollar Tree version. So I'm just gonna use a foam brush and I am just going to spread that all over and do a little glass etching. Um, I wasn't sure how much to put on there, so I kind of just pushed it on there with the foam because I wanted like it to be thick enough to actually do its job. Now the instructions say to leave it on there for 15 to 30 minutes. I chose 30 minutes because I wanted as much etching as I could get. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my painter's tape and then I just ran it underneath my sink to wash off the glass etching cream. And now we can just pull off our little vinyl stencil. This was really fun to do. I didn't get a perfect etching job, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm just going to use my Cricut weeder to pull out all the little tiny pieces here on the sand dollar. It's definitely beachy and fun for coastal Christmas. And when it dries, you'll be able to see the etching even better. I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up a little bit there with my heat gun. And you can kind of see that cool etching pattern on there. I thought that would be really fun. Definitely a coastal Christmas with the sand dollar and the joy. Now it's time to decorate the inside of this little Target dollar spot. You can kind of see, I did get a little bit of bleeding there on my stencil, but not too bad for my first attempt. Now to decorate it, I'm gonna use some sand, of course. I chose the white sand from the Dollar Tree. I thought that would be great for Christmas. And then some of these little bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree as well. And at first I was gonna put a candle in there, but I didn't really like it too much with that candle. So we're just gonna decorate ours with bottle brush trees. Now the trees I got at Dollar Tree were white. So I thought they would look even better if I made them a little bit more colorful. So we're just gonna give these a paint job. Did you know you could paint these? They're super easy to paint. This color on this one is, let me look it up, oh, Misty Ocean. And this is an acrylic paint that I got at Target. Really beautiful color. 
And I thought I would do two of them in that color just by taking a brush and just simply painting the bottle brush tree. I was um, impressed with how easy they were to do. For the third one, I'm gonna use the Caribbean blue color. Um, that is also a Target color. And we are just gonna go over that with a brush to get that all in there as well. I thought I was gonna have to spray paint those bottle brush trees, but um, it was actually way easier, I think, just to use a little acrylic paint. That way I don't have to go outside and make a mess with spray paint. So I just went ahead and nested those inside our little glass etched vase. And then we can decorate with some of the little bottled seashells from Dollar Tree and a starfish. I'm using one of the starfish that I got on Amazon, one of the real ones, and then just some seashells that I have from my seashell stash from the beach. Super easy, definitely coastal Christmas theme, but a fun way to take one of the glasswares from the Target dollar spot, or again, you could use something thrifted and make a really beautiful coastal Christmas display. And this is how it turned out. I'm really glad that I decided to paint the trees and they look beautiful in there with the white sand and the seashells and starfish. And I'll try to show you the etching. It's a little bit hard to see with just the picture from the front. So I can kind of show you how the etching looks here by giving you a little bit of video. So Joy, not a perfect job on the glass etching, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it's pretty. Okay, for the next DIY, we're gonna use that little nativity scene from the Dollar Tree and make a really fun coastal Christmas sign. I got this sign at Goodwill and I'm actually gonna do a DIY chalk paint to get good coverage on this. And I just mix some calcium carbonate. I get that on Amazon with water and acrylic paint. It's a cheaper way to do chalk paint and I really like to do it. I got this recipe online. I'll be sure to include the um, directions to that in the description below this video if you wanna start making your own chalk paint. But this is how I did it. I wanted mine to be this nice ivory color and get like maximum coverage to cover that sign. Cause as you can see, it had like white writing on a dark blue sign. So I'm gonna have to definitely go over it with white first to mask all of that. The thing I liked about the sign is it already had a wood frame, which was really cool. I probably should have taped it off, but I was just kind of trying to clean it up as I go. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, probably gonna have to tape it off or I'm gonna end up with a big mess. So I just tape it off and go over it with a couple coats just to mask that. I'm also gonna paint the nativity scene from Dollar Tree with that same ivory color of chalk paint. And I wanna do like an ivory on like blue sign. I think that'll look nice and beachy. And we can use the Cricut too to add some words to it. Now, as you can see, even though I used chalk paint, I'm still getting, you know, the, some of the words coming through and I had to go over it with another coat to make sure that you couldn't see anything like that. Now, this is the color that we're gonna use again. It is the Misty Ocean by the Mondo Llama brand from Target. And we're just gonna go over the whole sign with that. So it'll have a wood frame. It'll have that beautiful bluish green background. And then we'll have the ivory pop up against it with the nativity scene from the Dollar Tree. So even with my Dollar Tree painter's tape, I did have some bleeding there. Now for the design, I just went on Cricut Design Space. If you have a membership, you can get access to free files. And that's what I did. I just pulled up something pre-made that said, Oh, Holy Night. I thought that would be perfect. And I'm using my um, Cricut like stencil vinyl again. I also did this star image on there for a little nativity Christmas scene. And I thought we could hand paint that on the sign, but then add the wooden pieces as well from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna use my favorite paper transfer paper, and we are gonna apply that to our sign. Even though it's a freshly painted sign, um, I'm gonna be able to put that right on there. And if I do get a little bit of um, damage to the paint, I don't really care because I'm kind of going for a coastal farmhouse vibe. So I just tape it off with painter's tape to kind of protect my surface back there. And then using a makeup sponge, I'm just gonna lightly tap that ivory chalk paint all over to hand paint that sign. 
And I did a total of two coats to make sure it was bright white and gonna pop against that blue background. And let's go ahead and pull off the stencil and see what we've got. I did have a little bit of damage there, probably because I had just painted that surface and I was crafting away. Um, I probably wouldn't have had that damage if I would have let it dry a little bit better, but that's okay because we're going to distress it anyway. So we're going to see if we can kind of save this, but I'm kind of okay with that. Now for the scene, we're just going to leave all of the stable the wise men joseph and mary baby jesus all of them in that like ivory color i did go over the whole thing distressing it with some sandpaper um and then i did go back with the original color and just touch up some areas because it was a little um more distressed than i would like i wanted it to still be um where you could read it you know but good enough and then um, once I get it all touched up, I also try to like just kind of rough it up a little bit too. I'm going to put like the manger over here and put the wise men over on the left side. I think that looks really cute. So just a fun crafting idea. You can use this little nativity set scene from the Dollar Tree and you could use any kind of sign you have. You could use a Dollar Tree sign if you wanted. I just use this thrifted sign. I like the fact that it had a frame built in and I can just stand this on my shelf. It's going to look great for decor. I just hot glue baby Jesus down here and then there's plenty of room for Joseph and Mary as well on each side. I just kind of layer them so they kind of stick out a little bit. For like a little bit of a shadow box effect and it's not perfect with the painting on here but you know what it's pretty good now i use that same misty ocean color to distress my ivy ivory characters just slightly to kind of give it that coastal farmhouse vibe and kind of make it look a little bit older and more distressed and i kind of go over everything with that color too just a very light dry brushing also, I'm going to try to clean up my frame a little bit here because I think the way the frame was built, taping it off, it still wasn't great. I had like kind of paint like kind of seeping into the seams, but we're going to clean it up a little bit there. And here it is, our little coastal farmhouse. Oh, holy night sign. I love the color combination. I think it's so pretty and the beautiful image of the birth of baby Jesus. I love this for Christmas and just a fun coastal Christmas decorating idea for you. And this is how it turned out. Now for the next DIY, check out this great nativity set I found at um, Goodwill. Now it was an old nativity set and I don't know what kind of glue they used to attach these um, characters from the birth of baby Jesus, but they were not gonna come off no matter what I did. So we'll just leave them on there. This did have fabric on the back of it, but I kind of wanted that to be off because I wanted to paint everything, remake this really old nativity set from, that I got at Goodwill for just a couple of dollars and um, make it coastal Christmas vibe. So I'm going to go in and try to pop off the back of it. That was a little bit easier to do. That way, um, all the back of it's open. That way I can get to all the characters inside um, and we can paint everything since I can't remove them. So whoever built this originally, good job because this thing is like indestructible. I think it's gonna last until the end of time. But I have the structure that I want. I don't, I don't wanna get the paint that I'm gonna use on all of the little people inside um, on the frame of it. And since I can't remove it, I'm just gonna use a little bit of painter's tape to, um, you know, protect that surface. So I go around like all the poles and stuff like that. I don't care if I get paint on the bottom of it though, because I do have a plan to cover that with sand. I think that'll look beachy and fun. Now, again, I'm mixing my own DIY chalk paint by mixing that misty ocean color we've been using today with calcium carbonate and water to do a DIY chalk paint. And we're going to go over baby Jesus. We have all of the great little farm animals here and just go in with a brush and paint them the best that I can since I can't remove them. Um, 
it wasn't ideal. I thought I would be able to, you know, pop those off, paint them and glue them back in. But you know what? This is probably a time saver because I didn't have to go through all those steps and I was able to paint them. The only thing that it came out separately was that baby Jesus was zip tied. Um, so I was able to take him out. I will glue him back in there though, because I want to make sure that I don't lose him. But I do understand why he does come separate like that. And I just kind of go in. Now that I have the back of it open, I can paint the back of everyone as well. And make them that beautiful beachy blue color. Um, I really love how this turned out. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull it off to make this look coastal Christmas. But it actually turned out just beautiful. And it's one of my favorite coastal Christmas um, decorating pieces. So I did go over it with a second coat to make sure I covered all of the bright colors on everyone involved. And then I'm just going to go in and remove the painter's tape that we had on there to protect the wood. I am going to distress that wood too to kind of make it look beachy. Now to do that, I'm just going to use a couple different colors of brown. I kind of want to give it a driftwood look. And I'm using, I'm thinking this is cashew colored. And I had like a dark tan color. I can't remember the name of this one. And I'm just kind of mixing those going back and forth to kind of give it that driftwood vibe. Another good color to use for driftwood if you're going to distress wood like this um, is mixing the Antique Wicks by Waverly with like an ivory. It's going to give you a great driftwood color too. But I think this worked. I'm going to go ahead and distress like the poles and the roof and everything, trying to avoid getting any of that on our little blue um, people in there. And again, I know the bottom of it kind of looks like a hot mess, but we're gonna make it beachy and fun because my plan is to cover that with sand. So to start out, I just glued baby J Jesus in the manger and then we are like, going in here with a paintbrush and just regular school glue. I'm going all over the bottom everywhere I can get to um, so that I can glue Dollar Tree sand to the bottom of it to make it look nice and beachy. So that worked out with not being able to remove them and I didn't have to be too careful with painting them to avoid getting it on the bottom because we're just gonna glue um, the sand, I'm using the tan sand from Dollar Tree, and I just do a nice layer all over. Whenever I do sand, I like to use the spray adhesive glue from the Dollar Tree too to glue that on top. So it's glued from the bottom and glued from the top. I'm also, you can kind of still see the original wood there on the front, so I touched that up with some lighter colors as well to kind of go with the driftwood vibe. And it does take a few minutes, you know, for the sand to set up and dry in there, but it worked great for the bottom. Now for the top, for the star, I thought we would use a starfish, nothing more coastal than that. And again, I'm just using a starfish that I got on Amazon, but you could totally use the ones from Dollar Tree. They're about the same size. And that's how it turned out. My little nativity set, Coastal Christmas Thrift Flip. I think it looks so stylish. It looks great with my coastal decor. What do you guys think about my little thrift flip here? I think it looks really beachy. If you wanted to take it up a notch, you could add some seashells, but I thought it kind of had enough going on already. And I kind of like the simplicity of it with the color scheme. Now for the next Coastal Christmas DIY, we're gonna use one of these wooden stars from the Dollar Tree. And again, we're using the Driftwood Vase Filler from Target. And I thought we could do a beautiful Christmas Driftwood Star. So kind of like putting together a puzzle, I thought the easiest way to cover this with the Driftwood would to be just to go ahead and frame it out, kind of like a puzzle. And so I'm just going around all the edges trying to, you know, find pieces that will fit. So again, like putting together a puzzle until I can completely cover, you know, the entire outside of it. And I am just using my hot glue to attach it. I've never done such like a intricate shape with all these different things going different directions with driftwood, but it actually worked out pretty well. I decided to do like one ray of the starfish at a time 
and really no rhyme or reason, just however I'm going to be able to get it to fit. Um, you know, you got to kind of test your pieces first to make sure that they're going to be what you want. And you can glue it to that Dollar Tree wood star and to the other pieces overlapping to try to cover up as much area as you can. And again, you could always use driftwood from the beach. I really love crafting with this um, driftwood from Target, though. Um, again, it's $10, but I usually get it on sale for probably like $6 or $7 a box. And when it does go on sale, I always try to stock up with it because I love crafting with driftwood. It is perfect for coastal decor. And again, the color is a little bit light on this one, but you could always stain it a little bit if you wanted yours to be a little bit darker. Now for the middle, I'm just going to kind of do whatever I can just to fill it all in and um, cover up the entire back. Doing this shape was a little bit easier than I actually thought. Um, just trying to find the right pieces was probably the most challenging part. Just trying to clean up any extra hot glue strings that I have from using all that hot glue. And I wanted mine to stand up. So I'm actually using a Dollar Tree plunger handle. I just cut off a couple pieces. And I thought I could make perfect little round stands here. The hot glue onto the back. And that's going to make it stand up, but it's also going to hide those because those won't be visible because they're nice and round and small and they can hide between the star rays. That way it will stand up on its own. And that's how it turned out. I'm just going to leave mine the natural driftwood and it's my little driftwood Christmas star. Such a fun, easy DIY for those little wood star signs from the Dollar Tree. I displayed mine here next to that little nativity set that we flipped. Beautiful and beachy and fun, a little bit unexpected, um, but I love how it turned out. You can always hang it on the wall as well um, if you attached a hanger to it. Now for the next DIY sign, we're gonna use one of the Peace on Earth signs from Dollar Tree. And I just wanted a square sign. I had one that I'd got at Target Dollar Spot on clearance and it was square. It's got like a nice wood finish, but Dollar Tree has pretty equivalent signs, maybe not quite as thick. But for the Peace on Earth sign from the Dollar Tree, I thought we could do a really fun ombre color with the coastal colors we've been using. So I use my makeup sponge and I am just gonna do Peace um, with the Caribbean blue color from Target. And I want to do the top half of it in that color. Now for the bottom half, we're going to use that ocean mist color. Oh wait, no, it was misty ocean color from Target. And we're going to do the bottom. Now when the two colors come together, I just use a makeup sponge to blend it together. And it gives that slight ombre effect. And I think it looks even more beautiful than using just one color, having it fade in from one beachy color to the next. And it's gonna make it match a lot of the things we've been crafting today so well. I love how this turned out. It was really easy to make. And if you DIY your own chalk paint like that, you can always save it in a little baggie and it's gonna keep it nice and fresh. And I love doing that. I distress it all over with some of my DIY ivory chalk paint, just a light dry brush all over to give it that coastal farmhouse vibe. Now this sign is kind of perfect because it's got like the wood, I love that, but I didn't really care for the, you know, black signs. It's like one of those reversible um, Target dollar spot signs that has the black chalkboard like um, on one side. And so I just went over mine with this like cashew color just to kind of blend it in with the wood. But we're just gonna simply glue the Dollar Tree Peace on Earth sign right to the front of that sign to give us a beautiful Peace on Earth sign for my coastal Christmas decor. I'm gonna use this on my shelf. So I do need to make a stand for mine. It was a hanging sign. And I do that by hot gluing one of the little five below giant Jenga blocks to the back. I love crafting with those and where you can slightly lean the sign back a little bit. So it's not gonna be super flat. You kind of want a little bit of opening there on the bottom. And I secure that with more hot glue. And this is how it turned out. Our little piece on earth, ombre coastal Christmas sign. I think this is so pretty and it looks great displayed with the other DIYs that we've made today. One of y'all gave me the idea of doing the ombre effect on these and I absolutely love how it turned out. Super beachy. 
Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video and let you know that I've introduced memberships on my channel for $4.99 a month. You're gonna get early ad-free access to my videos and a shout out in each video as well. All you have to do is click the join button on my channel. Okay, for the next DIY, I'm gonna DIY a Christmas sleigh. Now I picked this one up at Target Dollar Spot for $5, but you know what? These are really easy to find at the thrift store as well. I'm just gonna fill it up. It doesn't really matter which kind of sleigh you use. I have actually found a lot of great sleighs at Goodwill. Now I wanna fill mine up with flour. So I used some Dollar Tree foam and I wanted like a beachy color of flour. So we're gonna use these beautiful like mint green Dollar Tree flowers. They're very tropical. They're definitely not like a Christmas flower. These are just something I found in the regular floral aisle at Dollar Tree. And I don't want, um, you know, a traditional Christmas flower. I wanted a beachy color, so that's why I chose these. Now I went ahead and added the greenery as well, just to kind of help fill that in. And then we're just gonna go in with a second package of these lilies, they're so pretty. And I thought this would look great. It's just a fun way to decorate a sleigh. And at first I was gonna kind of do the color scheme where I did this like mint green color, which matches a lot of the coastal DIYs we've done together. Um, and with the red, I do choose to make it a little bit less colorful and you'll see in a minute. And I didn't really like the Christmas flower that I got, but you guys know, I've been telling you guys to stock up on these. The little coral trees are back at Dollar Tree. If you turn them upside down and pop off the tree stem, they look just like white glittery coral. And so I always stock up on these every year. I buy as many as I can get my hands on and I use them year round in crafting because they're beautiful for um, coral. Now I need to make little picks. So I'm gonna use just some of the skewers from Dollar Tree, cutting them down to size. And then we can attach those to little coral Christmas tree ornaments um, to make little picks to go into the floral foam. I'm just going to hot glue those on. And removing the stem off those ornaments is really easy. I use scissors there, but they are plastic so they can just pop off too. And I wasn't sure if it would be super sturdy, just glued to the plastic like that. So I decided to reinforce mine with a little bit of twine and hot glue to make sure these are good and sturdy. And you know, um, you won't be able to see that anyway, cause we're gonna have that kind of tucked down inside our flowers. So I'm gonna do that same thing on all of them. I did a total of four of the little coral tree ornaments. So two packages, you get two in a package. And I would recommend getting these online if you um, can't find them at the store. The only problem is I don't think you can get them just on their own. I, I think they come in a group with other ornaments as well. So everything is nice and reinforced. They are a little messy with all the glitter, but that's okay. I think it's gonna look sparkly for Christmas. We're just gonna nest those in with the Dollar Tree florals. I love the colors together. They look so beautiful. If you wanna do like a couple different lengths, you can always shorten your little skewers as well to nest them in there like that. And then I wanna do some other beachy things. So I'm gonna like put some starfish in there as well. I'm using some of the starfish from Amazon, but you could totally use, you know, the starfish from the Shore Living Line at Dollar Tree. And I just kind of hot glued those in there, kind of arranging those where it's got like starfish coral. And then I thought even a sand dollar would be great as well. These sand dollars um, were from Amazon as well. But again, Dollar Tree does have them with their shore living line every spring. I can't wait till that comes back. What about y'all? And I hot glue that to the front like that. Now I wanted like to decorate my um, little sleigh a little bit too um, with a word. And I also kind of don't really want you to be able to see the foam. So I just put a little reindeer moss in there. And then I took a little Merry Christmas sign from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna paint this red. Now, again, I told you I was gonna do like the mint, green, white, and red theme on this. And the only reason I was using red was to match the red sleigh. But I ended up after getting this painted thinking it was a little bit too colorful, but I can show you what it looks like with this color scheme. And we are gonna have some red in our coastal crafting today. So if you like it, um, I think it will work well, but you know what? It was just a little bit too colorful for me. 
I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging here. I kind of decided I wanted my sand dollar here on this side. And I'm kind of gluing that in place on the inside of the sleigh so it kind of stays exactly where I want it. And then I wanted Merry Christmas to be on both sides of the sleigh. So um, this is the other one that came in the package. I painted this one red as well. Glue that on the other side of the sleigh so that both sides are decorated. You can kind of display that piece anywhere. So this is how it looks so far with all the colors. And again, I told you I really wasn't feeling the red. So not too late. I'm going to try to touch it up with ivory. Um, at first, I distressed everything. I thought maybe if I distress the red, um, I would like it a little bit better. So that was my first attempt to kind of mask it. But again, I just really wasn't feeling the red on this project. So I end up making everything ivory, spoiler alert, but I wanted to show you what I did originally on this DIY. That's how it looks distressed. And then I was like, yeah, nah, I think I want it ivory. So it's a little tricky, but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, try to update this <laughs> with a makeup sponge. I was able to paint that ivory, but you got a chance to see what it would look if you uh, wanted to do your little sleigh a little bit more colorful. And then I'm also going to do the skis for the sleigh and ivory as well. And I'm glad I decided to make it a little bit less colorful. We're also going to be doing Dollar Tree DIY reindeer to pull this beautiful little sleigh full of flowers. Um, you can always detach like from the Target dollar spot sleighs, I know, the little skis below if you want. I just went ahead and left them attached and painted them like that. Now for the little reindeer, these are the little clear plastic reindeer from Dollar Tree. And I thought they would look beautiful if we made them look nice and beachy. Didn't really have the color that I wanted, so I kind of mixed Caribbean blue with a little bit of green, kind of trying to do it in my own little custom color. I was trying to get pretty close to the flowers that we used. And these are pretty easy to paint. I just use a foam brush and I am going over the entire little guy. A fun way to DIY these little clear um, reindeer from the Dollar Tree. I mean, they would look pretty clear too, but I wanted mine to look super beachy and so I wanted them to be blue. Went ahead and painted the other two the same color and um, just kind of touching them up, making sure that none of the clear plastic is showing through. I did, and I didn't really like the color I ended up with here. And so I do actually lighten them up a little bit here because I was really trying to match the color of the flowers. But this is what they look like at this point. I did try to distress them lightly um, with some ivory, but I was like, you know what? I kind of really want them to be like a uniform color. So what I did is I went back and mixed some ivory with that original color and brighten them up. And then I just use a red paint pen to make one of them a Rudolph. But this is the lighter shade. And I think it, I did a good job of matching the flowers with a little reindeer. You know, I kind of changed my color scheme on these a couple times this whole project. But in the end, this is how it turned out. I think it's so lovely and beachy with our little coral ornaments, our Dollar Tree flowers, our little dollar spot sleigh with a Merry Christmas sign from Dollar Tree and our three little blue Dollar Tree reindeer. And this is all that I had room for was three reindeer, but you could totally do more. No strings or anything. I just kind of sit them all together like that. And I love how they turned out. Now for the next DIY, I saw some really cute bottle brush um, Christmas trees at Bells that were super beachy. And I thought, you know what? I could totally make those with supplies from the Dollar Tree. So it doesn't matter what color bottle brush trees you can find at the Dollar Tree because again, they're super easy to paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint off the little wood base on mine with some painter's tape to protect them. And I want them to just to be ivory. I think that's gonna go great with my coastal decor. I just need to cover up the colors that these were already. So I'm just gonna take some ivory um, spray paint and I am just gonna take these outside, give them a really quick, spray paint with the ivory, and then I have these beautiful colored trees. Now, you can already get them that color, I think, at the Target dollar spot right now. And then I am going to go in with these beautiful metallic beads that I found at Dollar Tree. These look just like the little beachy ornaments that I saw at the um, bells for the little coastal Christmas trees. 
I'm not going to use all the colors here, but I love like the beautiful like blues and greens here. And I'm just going to simply do a dot of hot glue on my bottle brush tree from the Dollar Tree and then just glue a bead on there. I try to do the holes of the beads like to the side so you can't really see them, making sure they're not facing to the front. But I'm just going to use the blue and the green color on mine. Now, I did try a couple different ways here to find the best way to glue this. Now, this way, I have a silicone mat, so I just dotted some hot glue on there and dipped my little metallic bead in there and then glued it to it. And I found that worked better than actually putting the glue in the tree. I just didn't want like the glue to string everywhere. So then I just kind of started doing a puddle. As long as I could keep that hot glue wet, I could just dip as many in there as I can and attach those to the tree. It was really easy to make this little coastal Christmas tree. And I love how it turned out because these little metallic beads are so pretty. They look just like Christmas ornaments, don't they? And I'm just kind of doing a random pattern all over. I want to cover my entire tree with ornaments. Even here in the back, just alternating blue and green. And we'll save like those pretty pink ones for maybe Valentine's Day project. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the second one. So I'll speed this way up. I just dip all my little metallic beads in the hot glue and glue them to my bottle brush tree. Then I'm going to display both of the little coastal Christmas trees together. Aren't they beautiful? I love how they turned out and they were so quick and easy. Everything was from the Dollar Tree. Now I thought, ooh, I need a tree topper. So those little tiny starfish there from Amazon, I just glue one of those to each one of the trees. But this step is totally optional. You could always do like a little seashell as well would be cute. But I thought a starfish for the star as a tree topper would be perfect. And these were just the right size. And this is how they turned out, our little coastal Christmas trees. So beachy and cute. The colors go great with everything we've been crafting today. And I think they look um, great displayed together as a set. Very beachy and beautiful. You can always decorate your base. I kind of decided to leave mine just wood like that. I think it looks really pretty. Now for the next DIY, we're going to DIY these little nutcrackers from the Dollar Tree. Now they're very colorful and plastic looking, but I thought we could try to make them look a little bit more high end. I am just removing the beard and the hair from them. It was a little tricky to get the hair. They do kind of pop apart. I noticed that the hats just pop off of these, but the hair is actually like inside the whole thing and I didn't want to take the whole thing apart. So I actually just kind of pulled it as much as I could and then kind of trimmed that to get the hair off because I want to save the hair for later, but I want them to be um, just plastic for now so that we can give them a coastal beachy makeover. I did have to go in there and try to pry that out because I couldn't really get it to go back in, but I just used some scissors to kind of clean that one up. We're going to do the same thing here with the second one. Now the idea I got, I saw like some ombre, um, nutcrackers that were painted really fun beachy colors and I thought we could kind of pull that off with the Dollar Tree version. So again removed all my hair from both of them and then we can start painting these. I'm going to use chalk paint again some of my DIY chalk paint that we mixed up and I'm going to do the top part of this one with like that misty ocean um, bluish green color. And then I'm going to kind of alternate which top and bottom are painted, but I really want just half of it to be that color. So I just go over it with the brush. Now for the other one, I want it to be opposite. So I'm going to do the bottom of the little Dollar Tree nut cracker in that mint green color. And I kind of went back and forth with a brush and a foam brush to try to get in all the different areas to get as good of coverage as I can get on those but they kind of painted pretty well. I was impressed because I was going over lots of really colorful things and foil and stuff like that, but I was able to actually get good coverage here with this beautiful color. Now for the other half, I wanted to use the other color we've been using today, which was the Caribbean blue color from Target. And I decided just to try the acrylic to see if I could get good coverage with that as well, just because it painted so well. And it will require a couple coats, but it went on pretty easy. 
and it doesn't really matter which one you use on these. I just kind of picked two. Didn't really matter what colors they were since I was going to be painting them. And again, we're doing that same ombre effect like we did earlier, and it's going to kind of make it like, you know, fade from one color to the next. And I did have to go over it with a second coat just to make sure that I get good coverage there on everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the hats as well. Since they're already off, I thought it'd probably be easier to paint them separated. I do one blue and one green. I was kind of thinking, should I mix and match? Have like my blue topped one have a green hat um, and vice versa. But I ended up deciding to kind of match the top and the top, <laughs> if that makes sense. But a couple of coats just to cover up all the drop colors and these painted up nicely. Now they're super easy to reattach, but first I want to um, kind of blend the color. Um, so I kind of mix the two colors together using a makeup sponge and blend where the ombre happens. So it's like a slight um, change in color between the two. And we're going to do the same thing here on the other one. And I'm glad that I kind of alternated the colors on them. I think that looks really fun. What do you guys think about painting these? I think it turned out really fun. It made them look a lot more stylish, I think, than all the bright colors and things that were on there before. I'm just going to re-screw my little Nutcracker hats back on, their little heads. And then um, now it's time to we can reattach their little beard. I just do a little hot glue and glue the little beard piece right on here where it was before. And then we can also reattach the hair. They definitely look a lot different. I think they look really stylish and fun, and they're definitely going to go nicely with my beach decor. I'm just going to use hot glue to attach this again. It was kind of like wedged in between the cracks on the side of the head there before, but you know, hot glue will totally work to reattach it. Just trying to clean it up a little bit. They were a little straggly. And we're going to do the same thing here on the other one. Now, once I got them painted and got like all the hair attached to them, I thought we could maybe give them a little bit of a beachy touch. And again, we're going to be using those tiny starfish that I get on Amazon. And I thought we could just kind of decorate their hat by gluing one of those on it. Super simple little beachy touch. Nothing too crazy. You could also do the base in the sand if you wanted to, but I kind of liked just the color scheme. I did the starfish on the opposite sides of my hats, and this is how they turned out. Our little ombre coastal Christmas nutcrackers. A fun DIY idea. Super easy to pull off. Just a little bit of paint. And I love how we're using like these same color schemes today. Um, they all really coordinate well together. Now for our next DIY, I wanted to do a Dollar Tree Angel. So I'm going to use one of these beautiful glass bottles from Dollar Tree and one of the Angel Wings Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree. And I thought we could do a little coastal Christmas angel by attaching the wings to the back of the bottle. It's just the right size. Now the bottle um, I'm using is one of the clear glass ones, but I think we could always paint it. So I'm going to mix up some more of that paint that we were using. The blue, the green, the white, I kind of mixed my own little custom color. And I'm just going over um, that beautiful textured glass bottle with that color. Now, like with the Shore Living line, they have some that are already kind of tinted this color. You could totally use those as well. That'd be really pretty. But I wanted this beautiful like round um, gem on the top of mine to make a little angel head. And so I am just painting this one that I found just in the regular um, home decor section at Dollar Tree with like the glassware and candle holders and stuff like that. Now for the head of the angel, I just go in with like an ivory color and paint that all as well. That's going to be the little head of our angel and just put that little stopper back in our little bottle. This DIY turned out so beautiful and it was so easy to do. I'm going to do a second coat to make sure you can't see any of the glass through and touch up the bottle as well. I think it's okay for the glass to kind of be exposed there along the collar. I think that's fine. 
And then I want mine to look coastal farmhouse, so I just stress it all over with a little bit of ivory. This step is totally optional, but you guys know I love a good distress. Just wiping off the excess paint with a baby wipe, but you have to be careful because it is glass, so um, it is easy to take the paint off, but I still have my original color there, so I can kind of go back and distress it, touch it up as need be. So that's what our little angel looks like so far. And now it's time to attach our little angel wings. Um, it's gonna go right here at the base of the bottle really well. Just kind of looking to see where's the best place to glue it. I'm gonna use um, hot glue to attach it and just try to make it as strong as I can. So I put some hot glue on the wings itself and on the bottle. Now you're definitely gonna have to give yourself a little bit of time here to glue that down. I also do a little bit extra hot glue um, on top to try to get that down in there and it actually held up pretty well. You could always use a stronger adhesive if you wanted. I also glued those little angel tips there to the back. You won't be able to see that part, but just to help reinforce it a little bit. Once I got it all dried and set up, we can go ahead and stand up our little angel. It's looking very beachy and beautiful. And again, those little starfish, you guys know I love those. I thought that'd make the perfect finishing touch to make it a little coastal Christmas angel by gluing that one right there. No arms or anything like that. I just like the simple shape of the bottle and the little angel wings. You could do a little halo if you wanted to. I kind of like the simplicity of mine though, so I kind of left it as is. So here is my little coastal Christmas angel. Very beachy and blue. And it's a fun DIY, like a coastal little Christmas version of this. I know lots of people make angels with these little angel wings from the Dollar Tree. It was super fun to do. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick moment out of today's video, let you know about my Facebook group. I always have it linked in the description below. We would love to see you over there. You'll find out when I post new videos and get to see what everyone's been crafting. And I also have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube. Now back to the DIYs. This is another vase filler from Target. These are the little uh, monkey fist balls, but you could totally use the shore living ones. You would just have to remove the handles. I wanted to do a little um, rope ball snowman. So I just glued two together. I'm gonna do three parts, like a three part snowman. I thought it would be easier to use the vase fillers. Again, these do go on sale just like the um, driftwood that we use from there. And so that's how I made mine. They're a little bit smaller than the ones from the Dollar Tree, but not too much. And I glue all three together to make a snowman. Now for the base of my snowman, I'm gonna use one of these little chunky wood circles from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna cover it in some of that beautiful, tropical, removable wallpaper. I've been having trouble finding this in my stores, but luckily I have stocked up on it. <laughs> but that's how I'm gonna decorate the base of mine. I love it. It's like the light blue color with like the palm fronds all over. And I just cut mine down to size and simply sit that right on top. You can always sand the edges to get a perfect fit and cut. Super easy to do. I love crafting with removable wallpaper from Dollar Tree. Now for the sides, I kind of want it to blend in and look the same. So I decided just to cut some little strips here to go around the sides. So I'm just gonna use a ruler here so we can kind of get a straight line and cut out a strip. And I just kind of had a scrap piece of this, so we're just gonna make this work. So I'm just gonna peel and stick. Unfortunately, it wasn't long enough to go all the way around. So I'm gonna have to cut out a, another little strip I used the back of that one for reference and just kind of piece that together. That looks nice and beachy in that it's going to be a great base to hold our snowman because it's going to need something strong and bot strong at the bottom to make this stand up properly. I just attached the little rope balls with hot glue like that. And you kind of have to let your glue set up so it's nice and strong. Now the fun part, let's decorate our little snowman. I got some of this felt. Um, I think I actually got this felt at Walmart. It's a nice beachy blue color and we're gonna DIY a little bucket hat for our snowman. So first I just cut out a circle and then I'm gonna go in and cut out a strip 
for the sides of the hat. And this is how I put it together. I just hot glue the circle and I just keep working that around to make the seam for the top of my bucket hat. And I just keep going all the way around. Now, just like the sides, it wasn't quite long enough. I probably should have cut a longer strip, but that's okay. I can always cut a second one and continue the sides of my little bucket hat. And it turned out really cute. I thought it'd be fun to do a bucket hat for a beach version of a snowman. So I just hot glue that to the strip before and continue hot gluing it around to the sides of the circle until I finish off the sides of my hat. Just gonna trim off my excess and glue everything together here. And it was really easy to make this hat. It turned out really cute too. Now, once I have that part of the hat done, then I just need to worry about the brim. It doesn't have to be a hat that really can be taken on and off or have to have a center or anything. So I just kind of sit that on the felt, kind of sketch out a circle, a larger than it, that I kind of want that size to be, and then just cut out a larger circle for the brim of the hat. Like that. Super easy to attach. So I'm gonna actually attach it in two pieces. I'm first gonna hot glue the brim down to the top of the little rope snowman head and then glue the rest of the hat to that. And I just kind of did the seams in the back where you can't really see them. Super beachy and cute for a little beach snowman. Just because we're at the beach doesn't mean we can't have snowmen, right? Now for the eyes, I'm gonna use some of these little plastic stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I was trying to decide if I wanted them to be blue or black, and I decided I like them black. Kind of, They can kind of look like coal eyes. So I'm actually just gonna take some black acrylic paint and paint some of these. Looks like I've done that before for another DIY. And I love crafting with these little round stickers like this from the Dollar Tree. They're so versatile. You could also use buttons, I guess, um, if you wanted to for the face on your little snowman. I'm gonna use hot glue to make sure it's extra strong, even though they're stickers, and glue two of the little black circles on there for little snowman eyes. Now, they were kind of big. I thought they'd be too big for the mouth. So I have some black felt from the Dollar Tree and I decided just to cut out a little strip for a little snowman smile. Something that could be a little bit small on the smaller scale like this. You could always use those little diamond mesh from the Dollar Tree too. Um, and paint those black if you wanted like the separate dots for your snowman smile. But the felt worked out really well. And just glue that to our little snowman face. He is coming together nicely. Now I'm gonna use some of the wire jute from Dollar Tree for their arms, but I thought he also needed buttons on the front. I tried black, I thought, mm, I think I might want more colorful. So I decided to actually use the light blue ones. I thought those looked nice and beachy too. So I'm just gonna glue a couple of those to the middle section of the snowman. Then for the arms, the wire jute from the Dollar Tree, I thought would make perfect little coastal sticks to come out of the sides of the jute balls um, to make little snowman arms. So I'm just gonna cut down two arms. And I attach mine with hot glue, also kind of working the wire in between the two different pieces of rope there. And they can stick straight out. They do a great job of keeping the shape since it's got the wire jute in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here for the other side. You wanna not work with those too much because they definitely fray. You might wanna hot glue yours first, but I just cut out two more little strips to wrap around to do little snowman hands. And again, mine were kind of fraying a little bit. So I actually removed the wire from mine and just used the twine part. They look like little branches there. Gonna do the same thing here on the other side, making another little branch snowman um, hand with the jute twine. And then a little tiny starfish for his little blue bucket hat. Again, Dollar Tree or Amazon um, starfish. And he is looking very beachy and cool, but he needs a little decor. So I'm gonna use some of the little bottled seashells from the Dollar Tree to decorate the base. And then I was trying to decide what to do a little snowman nose with. And I thought one of these little cone shaped shells um, would be perfect. I had for my stash. And so I'm gonna give him a little seashell nose. 
It's going to be the perfect final touch for our little coastal snowman. Super cute. So lots of supplies from the Dollar Tree. The jute balls were from um, Target, but you could totally do that with the shore living ones. Now for the scarf, I wanted something little and I didn't really have anything. So I have some of this red pom-pom trim from the Christmas Isle at Dollar Tree, but I don't really want the pom-poms on there. So I just go ahead and cut those off and I can always use those for a, another DIY here in a minute. But I just want the little strip. I kind of wanted something, the texture of like a beach towel or something like that to make a little, you know, snowman scarf. I just wrap that around his neck. Little hot glue just to make sure it doesn't fall off. But I love how he turned out. And I think the red is a nice little surprise. And this is how he turned out, our little jute ball snowman, one of my favorite little coastal Christmas DIYs. I hope you enjoy him too and got some fun crafting inspiration from him. Looks so cute on our little beachy base. I love him. I think he's so fun. Now, these DIYs, I'm thinking a little bit more tropical, so I'm bringing a little bit more color in. Now, this little tree I got at Target Dollar Spot, it's already that blue color. And again, we had all the little pom-poms that we just cut off the scarf of the snowman. So I thought they'd make perfect Christmas ornaments. So I'm just attaching them with a dot of hot glue and we can decorate the little bottle brush tree. I love the bottle brush trees. I use them not just for Christmas. I also use them for like carrots and stuff like that for Easter. They're so fun. And I think the colors are going to be great. We have like the beachy blue, but we also have the pops of red with all the little pom-pom ornaments. So just a quick, easy way you can decorate one of these little bottle brush trees using the pom-pom garland. Um, it actually worked pretty well. You could also use like, you know, wood beads, whatever you've got, like we did before. And I displayed mine with my little beachy snowman and they look really cute together. I've done like a coastal snowman like tear tray before where like a snowman in Florida where he's really afraid he's gonna melt. <laughs> so it's fun to do a little snowman with your coastal decor. But this is how they look together. Now for the next DIY, I picked up one of these little triangular signs from the Dollar Tree and I thought we could make a fun tropical Christmas tree out of it. I tried to pop the back off. It was already kind of a beachy color. Um, when I popped the back off though, it kind of like ripped everything, but that's okay because I have plans to DIY it. I don't want all that ripped paper on the back though. So I'm just gonna use that as the back of my Christmas tree. And I just use some contact paper from the Dollar Tree um, to cover the back of it, just so the back of my project looks more finished. I just use a sanding block to give myself a clean edge and go around all three sides of the little triangle. Now I like like the wood sides on that, but I wanted to DIY the back of it and make it look tropical and fun. And so again, we're gonna be using some of that removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. I really hope Dollar Tree uh, brings this back because it's my favorite. It was the most beautiful one they had. And it was always so popular. I don't know why, if they were gonna discontinue one of the designs, why would they discontinue this one? I hope they have it. I know some of you guys have been saying you've been having trouble finding it as well. And I just cut a triangle and peel and stick that onto the back of our little tropical Christmas tree. And then we can reattach the frame like that. I cleaned up as much paper on the back of that as I can, but I just put hot glue all along the edges and then we can just sit that back on the back of it to put it back together, super easy. And it's a really cute shape for a Christmas tree. I just lay the back back on there and it kind of frames it out. Now I did want it to um, have like a stem. So I'm gonna use one of the wood stems from the Dollar Tree to be a tree trunk. And that's gonna, you know, make it stand up. I didn't want it too tippy though. So I tried to use like one of the shorter, flatter ones like that. Just gonna hot glue that to the base to make a little tree trunk for a Christmas tree. That looks coastal and fun. And again, we're gonna use a starfish for the tree topper. 
I love that for a Christmas tree topper. And that is a starfish that I got on Amazon, but again, you could use the ones from Dollar Tree. It's looking super tropical, but I thought it needed a little bit more festive. So we're gonna use some of that red pom 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 garland from the Dollar Tree. And it's gonna work as garland and ornaments. I'm just gonna leave it all together. Hot gluing it here to one side. And I wanna like just kind of zigzag that across the front of the Christmas tree. It's gonna give like a slight shadow box effect but it's also gonna give like a garland, Christmas ornament vibe. So I just hot glue that where I started, zagging that down and hot glue that here. Just gonna go across it a couple of times. Gonna do the same thing here on this side, just gluing it into an angle and stretching it across, cutting it and hot gluing it to the other side. Super easy, it gives a little bit of fun to the Christmas vibe on our little tropical Christmas tree. This DIY was really easy to put together. And for presents underneath the Christmas tree, I thought we could add a few beachy items as well. And so I decided to add just some seashells from my seashell stash down here for little gifts underneath the tree. Super easy DIY and really fun for coastal Christmas. Now for the next DIY, I'm just using one of these little gnomes from the Dollar Tree. This is the little red gnome, but I thought we could make him look like Santa. So I just drew like um, some little white lines to give a little bit of very color to his beard to make it look super fluffy. And it has like the little Christmas trees all over it. I thought it was a little glossy for my liking. So I'm just toning mine down a little bit with some matte Mod Podge to make it look a little bit more matte colored. But that step is totally optional. I think he already looks like Santa because he has like a white beard and a red hat, but we're just gonna add a few more touches to him to kind of up the Santa vibe. I love crafting with these little gnomes from the Dollar Tree. They seem to have these for every season at the Dollar Tree, but this is kind of the Christmas version. Um, if you had one um, that doesn't have the Christmas trees, you know, you could always just paint the hat red to make him look like Santa. That's what he looks like so far, but I thought he needed like the little brim for his little Santa hat. And again, I'm going to use some of the pom-pom trim from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut off the pom-poms to give me a little white strip. I thought that would work great for the brim of his little Santa hat. So I'm just going to hot glue that like right there along the edges of his hat. Just to give him a little bit more Santa vibe. Not a whole lot to do to make this little guy look like Santa. And I'm gonna use this like um, in my cabinet with these other like blue and red tropical Christmas decor ideas. And I'm gonna show you here in the final reveal a little bit later how all this came together and how I display everything with my Christmas decor. So I just glued it all the way around like that. I think that's gonna work really well. It's not fluffy or anything, but you know what? I think it does the job. And then I can use one of the little pom-poms for a little hat topper by gluing that to the tip of his little gnome hat. And I think he looks like Santa. Claus, what do you think? Just a super easy update to the little red gnome to kind of make a Santa version. They should kind of go with it. They should make him look like Santa already, I think. Super easy and cute. This is how he looks. And let's keep crafting. I promised you 20 DIYs. Now this is the Dollar Tree Christmas Believe sign. I thought we could give it a little coastal Christmas makeover. Just trying to remove the back from it. You know that these things can be really tricky to kind of pop them apart. I was trying to use a little heat glue and a putty knife to try to kind of pry the back off mine so that we can DIY it and make it look a little bit more coastal. So I just use heat and try to carefully take the back off this. I had better luck with this one than I've had on other ones. And it has like this Christmas like holly print on the back. That's what I want to replace, make that look more tropical. But I love the little believe sign. I think that's gonna look really cute sitting next to the little gnome. We're gonna use that same tropical um, uh, removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. 
if you can't find this, you could always use like a, um, a blue color, kind of do your own kind of tropical thing. Or I'm sure you could probably find some coastal looking um, scrapbook paper, but probably not at Dollar Tree, unfortunately. And I'm just going to peel and stick. If I can find the corner on that, our little rectangle piece on there. And that's going to make it go nicely with some of the other decor pieces that we've done that tropical pattern with. And I'm just going to reattach the back onto the little believe sign with some hot glue. And lay that right on top. Now I like the red with the blue and the green tropical print. I didn't really like the shade of the red that they use though. So I thought I could brighten it up a little bit, but this is what it looks like so far. I just went over mine with a little bit brighter red color. Wasn't sure which color would be brighter. And I think this like firehouse red, it's a little bit brighter, but this is just me being extra just to make it a little bit brighter red. So I just taped mine off and updated the color. And I did have to tape it down with some painter's tape to protect that beautiful wood frame. But this is what it looks like now. And then for one more coastal touch, I thought maybe a little Dollar Tree sand dollar here in the corner would look cute. And I just glue that to the frame. Super fun for coastal Christmas. And I do appreciate the pops of reds that I'm using in this cabinet that we're decorating for Christmas. Just a fun little variant and a coastal Christmas version of this sign. I think it turned out really beautiful. And I displayed mine next to that little Christmas gnome that we DIY'd. Now for the next DIY, I'm going to use a Dollar Tree, actually Dollar General window cling I found of Santa. And I'm going to use a dollar spot sign that I had that I got on clearance at Target Dollar Spot. But you could use any kind of Dollar Tree sign. I'm actually going to cover the back of it with that same removable wallpaper and that tropical print. And I'm just kind of trying to crease because I have a frame I'm kind of going in to be able to kind of cut that down to size. So I just use a putty knife to kind of crease it right where I want it so that I can just cut this down. I thought this would be fun to do a little Santa Claus on a tropical background. So it has like the natural wood frame. I can just peel and stick this tropical print and put this on the back. And just because it's Santa Claus doesn't mean he can't be tropical. I really liked this Santa Claus. I got it for a dollar at Dollar General because he has his little hands up in the air like, what am I doing at the beach? <laughs> Is what I was thinking. And I thought I could just Mod Podge him right here to the front. Now, he was a little bit taller than my sign, so I actually cut his little leg separately. I'm going to make him a little bit shorter to make him fit, and I just lay the little Santa legs on my wallpaper. And I'm going to do the same thing here with the top part of my Santa by Mod Podging on top of the wallpaper and then laying my little Santa decal right on top. Now, once I did that, I realized, oh no, you can totally see the leaves through it. I need it to not be quite so transparent. So I'm going to lay that back down on my window decal. And <clears throat> everything's still wet, so I can still save this, I think. I lay his legs back down too. And this time, instead of just peeling off the decal, I am just going to go in and cut him out, leaving the... Um, window cling backing on him so he won't be transparent and so I just cut all around the legs and, and then Mod Podge that all down together. Um, I had Mod Podge you know the cling back to itself so that kind of glues it together too and then we're going to do the same thing here for the top of the Santa. I didn't think about that but I guess it's kind of obvious with a crazy pattern like that that you're going to be able to see it through the decal but it worked out in the end. I'm going to put down some more Mod Podge to make sure it's nice and wet still and glue this little guy down back and all. And he fits on there nicely. I'm going to go over the top of it with more Mod Podge once I get that dry. So it's going to kind of take down the glossiness of the window decal and make him look a little bit better. But I think he turned out really cute. Our little Santa, like what am I doing at the beach? Christmas sign. <laughs> 
I do want mine to stand up and this was a hanging sign. And so again, I'm gonna use one of those little uh, five below giant Jenga blocks and glue that to the back to make a little base. And I'm gonna stand this up in that same cabinet that we're decorating all of the tropical Christmas. I think he looks really cute. And this is how he looks displayed in my cabinet. Our little coastal Santa Claus. I love crafting with window clings. They're a fun way to um, make a really simple DIY. And for a dollar, I guess these window decals at Dollar General are even cheaper than the ones at Dollar Tree. But I like him. I think he looks nice and classic. Now for the next DIY, I found this great wooden Christmas tree shadow box at Target Dollar Spot. I did not get that th this year. This is a compilation video, so I don't know if they're gonna bring these back this year, but they usually have some version of this. Um, and I am going to make mine a beach version. So what I did was just go in on the back of the little tree shadow box. I put down a layer of school glue and then covered it with Dollar Tree sand sealing it off with some spray glue to glue that down. We're gonna do that on the back of the entire Christmas tree. School glue, Dollar Tree sand, and some spray glue right on top. And I wanted to do just like a fun Christmas shadow box display of beachy items on here to go with my coastal Christmas vibe. This was so easy to do. I guess you could do the same version with the Dollar Tree triangular box. Um, but you're not going to have like the different shelves like this unless you add them in, but that is an option. You could kind of, you might be able to pair a few together. I decided on the bottom shelf to display just some Dollar Tree seashells, lots of different colors, and actually some that I found at the beach too. Just fill it all up and make this a little display of seashells. So pretty for Christmas and for coastal decor. I'm just kind of layering them and piling them up in there until I'm happy with them. Sitting some against the back as well. For the next chef, shelf, we're gonna display sea glass. This is Dollar Tree sea glass. I don't really like the green color, so I'm kind of picking out my favorite colors, the blues and the whites. And then for the top, I'm just gonna put a starfish in there. I'm using a Amazon um, starfish and I decided I needed a little bit more sea glass, so I decided to include the green, but not to include the bright blue. And this is how it turned out, my little Target dollar spot Christmas tree with the sand background. We've got a starfish on top displayed. We've got a sea glass down below and a little pile of seashells. So just a fun, easy take on this sign if you have one of these or if you can try to DIY your own. Now for the next DIY, I also got this at the Target Dollar Spot. It is just a sleigh sign. The reason I like it is because it's plain wood like this, but you could totally DIY the Dollar Tree sleds and get kind of a similar um, vibe. Now to decorate my little sled, I'm gonna use Cricut Vinyl. Um, I actually found this image just on Cricut Design Space and you're gonna love it, it's nice and beachy. The first thing I'm gonna cut out is the white part of my design. It is, I made mine two different colors, so I wanted my snowflakes to be white. So I'm trying to weed that part out. And then I want my words that I'm gonna attach to my little dollar spot sled to be um, red. So I'm gonna cut that out with vinyl. To get started on the white, I just go ahead and use the paper transfer paper and go ahead and put that on my transfer paper. And then I used, my mistake, a Dollar Tree red vinyl. As you can see, I had some difficulty. I just don't like the Dollar Tree vinyl. It's terrible, it sticks to my mat. But I found this image just on Cricut Design Space and what it says is, let it snow somewhere else. So I cut that all out in red and I know I'm missing letters and stuff, but you know what, we're gonna make this work. Lesson learned, don't use Dollar Tree Cricut vinyl. <laughs> you can use it, but don't use it for your Cricut. <laughs> and since I'm missing a couple of letters here, 
I did have to go back and cut those out again, unfortunately. I tried to salvage them, but I could find the W, but I couldn't find the H. So I just went back and cut out just that part of the design. I hate it when I have to do that. And attach that to our paper vinyl as well. And then we can kind of layer these all together. I guess I could have used the same transfer paper for both. I don't know why I didn't. I'm going to do the red first, the let it snow somewhere else. And just put that on my wood sleigh or sled, transfer that image, and then do my little snowflakes right on top. So fun, and I didn't even have to design it, so win-win, and it goes totally with the beach, de beach decor. I'm gonna sand mine to make sure that it is good and down, but Cricut Vinyl is a really easy way to make your own little DIY sign. I want my sled to stand up, so um, I am going to glue one of those giant Jenga blocks to the back from Five Below. And this cute little $3 sled is ready to go. Now, I want it beachy, so even though it is a snow sled, we can still add seashells to it, right? I just pick out some seashells. I liked this blue one from the Dollar Tree. I thought it kind of went with the colors we're using today. And then I like maybe want a little bit of variety. Hot glue a few more seashells on there. And just a fun little let it snow somewhere else snow sled totally goes with my coastal christmas vibe and you can hang it with a string or i just displayed mine in a cabinet next to my little coastal snowman and i love this sentiment let it snow somewhere else we're traveling back to the midwest for christmas this year for the first time since we moved to florida and oh man i hope there's no snow oh i hope there's no snow <laughs> But that's how it turned out. Now we've already done 20 Coastal Christmas DIYs, but I do have a bonus of one more. Um, I displayed this cabinet. I wanted to do a garland for the top. So I'm gonna show you how I did a little easy Coastal Christmas version. I took these five starfish. I got these on Amazon, but again, they're the same size as the ones from the Dollar Tree. I painted one candy apple red, and then I'm gonna paint two of them like a turquoise color going to leave two of them like a natural color and then I'm just going to take some Dollar Tree twine tie some loops on the end to make little hangers so I can hang this at the top of my cabinet I always like to put a garland up there so I already have little command adhesive hooks to the top where I can just hook that on there and then we can just make a super easy garland out of the starfish I'm going to start right in the middle by hot gluing a starfish right there on the twine right in the middle of it and then kind of scatter out the other snowmen i decided to measure so i have like an equal distance between them because i won't really be able to move them around after i attach them i did about four inches for mine to make this the right scale and just hot glue that on we're going to do the same thing here with the turquoise ones and you know it's not a traditional christmas color because we're using a lot of blue and our Christmas colors, but in this cabinet, I did a lot of red, a lot of ivory, and a lot of beachy blue. Now, I didn't know if it was gonna be strong enough, so I do go back with some Dollar Tree twine, and I just tie the little starfish on as well, just in case the hot glue is not strong enough to keep these on here. I just knot that, and it really doesn't take away from the vibe, it just kind of makes the little garland a little bit stronger. I'm gonna do the same thing here on all five of these. And be sure to stick around for the final reveal because again, I'm gonna show you how all 20 of these, um, 21 I guess, Coastal Christmas DIYs come together. Now I got it all done and I didn't like my color. So I added a little bit of ivory to make it a little softer blue to match that wallpaper that we are using on a lot of those DIYs, which is where I'm gonna display this. So I brighten it up a little bit. And this is how it looks hooked to the top of my cabinet for display. I have this actually at my dining area of my house. And it's super fun for Christmas using starfish. 
I really had a great time um, making all these coastal Christmas DIYs for you today. I hope you got lots of inspiration. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps my videos. Comment your favorite coastal Christmas in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We're going to have lots of Christmas DIYs this season. And we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Enjoy the final reveal. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just get better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Santa's gonna come and join us in this song hey. Oh, 
good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Hey. play that whole song for you guys thank you so much to the following crafty beach fund members for supporting my channel thank you to karen o'haran coastal couple pamela bergeron i am mojo jojo melinda elizabeth jamie job susan edmonds sandra ray carrie r tracy knight vernon noctigal nancy warner julie miller Jan Zalata, Tammy Coates, Janae Farrington, Pamelia Wren, Butterfly Mama, Maria Grace, and our newest member, Donna Schreiner. Thank you so much for some supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And again, if you would like to join, all you do have to do is hit the join button on my channel. It's $4.99 a month, and you're going to get early ad-free access to my videos. And I want to thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of today's video. If you would like um, to watch some more Crafty Beach, YouTube thinks that you might enjoy this video right here.